turn my skies to blue Only you Can make my dreams come true Love like a Should not be far apart Only you Can break my heart Only you Live from the Brawler Room Studios It's a really big old time radio medicine show Where we embroider the word sex into every title. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> yeah. Can make things turn out right. Sing the buck, Molly. Sing the buck. You and you alone can keep us far apart. embroidering sex into all our shows now, Molly? Probably not all of them. Because they've got a tremendous response from anything that they put the word sex in. Yeah. Now, I don't know how I'm going to be keep talking about that. Could you get that? Yeah. All right. The numbers don't lie. But, you know, the, the numbers, uh, they skyrocketed. Uh, you know, skyrockets, I tell you, I don't even like the word sex. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because it sounds snaky to me. Yeah. And it was a bad word in our house. Yeah. Which I think it was in a lot of houses. Yeah. We weren't even that religious. Yeah. But the old man was kind of Victorian. Yeah. Love like ours should not be far apart. Everything I gotta do, do we get to sing like now? Yeah, we can sing. Oh no, we gotta say what the show's about. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. Hey! Jeez, looks like he's gonna throw that haystack at me there. I was worried for a minute. Uh, it's got something to do with the races. <laughs> the race is on. A sexual trifactor. Ooh, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna say, say some at the beginning, some at the middle, some at the end, right? Yeah. Because they play right in to the meaning of life, survival, procreation, and evolution. Paparazzi asked me about my sexual persuasion. Uh huh. Isn't that supposed to scroll? Yes. <laughs> it's the technical difficulties. Should we can this? No. Scroll again? No. There you go. <laughs> you just cursed. The paparazzi asked me about my sexual persuasion the other day. Uh huh. 
Well, I said I'm not talking about that now because I don't feel very good. I got to sing first. <laughs> okay. And we're going to sing an Emmy Lou Harris song. Yep. You want to do it in a C? Or in a B? We can do it in a B if you want. B. <laughs> we better start singing or something. Three chords and the truth. The heaviest and most truthful show in media. Sometimes it gets funny too. sexual persuasion is. Uh-huh. I said I'm, I'm amphibiosexual. Uh-huh. I can do it both in and out of the water. It's very rare, very rare. Good one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Amphibiosexual. Especially being a cowboy. Yeah. Outside the door to your mind. There's an old black Cadillac waiting just outside. Take it away, Dad. Psychedelic like Prairie Home Fan. Oh, yeah, we're going in the old uh, Cadillac limo. I pass the city limit sign. I pass a honky tonk. 
Go past the county line All through the amber waves of grain Past the dairy cow All to the old country road Yeah, it's a dusty old road And all the girl is told Hanging out of the window Yeah, all the girl is told Somebody sees a great big tower. Fifty thousand watts. Station GHRD. Let's go and see what they got. We're gonna pull in there and unload and just go in the front door of this old retro radio station. And Betty Page is gonna give you your specialty at the front desk to send you down the stairs here to the Brill Room Studios for the really big old. Time radio medicine show, Three Chords in the Truth, starring Molly Griffin and her old dog, Doo. Coming to you live from Station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind, where the show always starts in five minutes. And we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds of the singing DJ. always starts in five minutes. I said it. Kick back and chill out. I said no it. sound. You said that too? I said it all. Well, I don't know how I'm going to get transcend from this into the next song. I don't think you're going to be able to. Well, then why don't we do that song right there? Sure. I feel the tears welling now, going deep inside. My heart's gonna be break. I see this devil alone and it's just off in pain. But then I may never shake it. I said that you might say I was taking it hard when you broke me all with the car. Hey, don't you wait your little hide and sorrow when I'm in rig right down ball. Now the race is on. It comes right up the back straight. Heartache going to the inside My tears holding back Trying not to fall I said my heart's tired of the running Two love scratch for another sake I said the race is on You look hard Ventured in love, never once suspecting what the final result would be. For oh, how I lived in fear, waking up each morning and finding that you're gone from me. Oh, I said the aching and pain, my heart for the day. I wanna hit the face, somebody new came out the winner. I wound up in second place, and then the race is on. They come up out of the back shed Heartache going to the inside My tears holding back Trying not to fall Not to get my heart out of the run Two love scraps for another sex Say the race is on Here comes heartache Is it a win or lose is on Said the race is on Sexual trifactor. Race is on. You didn't even know what it meant. Nope. What does it mean, Dave? Trifactor. I heard about trifactors all my life. What's it mean, Dave? You know, picking the first three horses okay. in a race. Okay. <laughs> Box them and wheel them and all that stuff. Right. <laughs> that I never paid any attention to. Anyway. Now listen, I got something to say about that. Oh, that's the song about the trifactor, sexual trifactor. Uh-huh. Sexual trifactor beginning now with survival. Uh-huh. I said the three of them before, right? Yeah. Well, how the hell are you going to survive without the sex? Seems to be the major push. Mm-hmm. 
It's the initial push, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like There's it's going like to be three major parts to this, right? Survival. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I'm sure if I was more academically inclined, I'd go on for hours about that. But mm -hmm. I think everybody knows, don't they? Like you want, wouldn't exist without it? You wouldn't even... That's right. None yeah. of us would. Yeah. Number one. Kind of obvious. Survival. <laughs> Survival. <laughs> Number one. Number one of the trap back. I hope these things over here are better. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Those sons of bitch and high-tech rednecks down in Silicon Valley, Mo. Uh-huh. They're creating nothing but loss and grief. Explain. I almost never use cash anymore. Oh, yeah? Never use cash. Mm-hmm. And I saw a dime the other day in the bottom of this jar, uh -huh. and I fell into a state of melancholia. <laughs> Loss and grief, Mo. Yeah. State of melancholia. Serious. For about a minute. Uh -huh. And then I went in and gave my virtual assistant, Robart, Alexa, <laughs> a bunch of orders. <laughs> <laughs> we got a million of them down here. Yeah. You need them for the show, Jerry? Jerry Santel? Remember the girl said, I just don't like your stuff anymore, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to sleep with him anymore. She was a big Texas yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. That was good. That was good. <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's going to get better because it's going to be all about sex, Well, <laughs> We already did it. Survival. All right. First part, survival. Can't do without it. This is what I this is what I was supposed to say a long time ago. Ball is for this. This is what I was supposed to say a long time ago. Okay. It, it's kind of an overview of the whole thing. Uh -huh. And it takes the three parts into consideration. And it goes like this. Survival. Uh -huh. Can't do without it. That's pretty much what I said, but it yep. can't do without it. Procreation. Mm -hmm. Deems it necessary. Uh-huh. <laughs> Deems it necessary, Ma. <laughs> oh my god evolution has just got to have it <laughs> it's just not going to make it without it it's all the same thing see and there's your trap actor right there mm -hmm. see that mm -hmm. we'll cover one at the beginning one in the middle and one in the end mm -hmm. <laughs> if we already did the first one didn't we? yeah we did <laughs> and now we're starting at the beginning right yep <laughs> We run a hell of a show, don't we, Ma? We sure do, Dad. We, we sure, sure do. do. <laughs> Get in a seat, Dad. I don't run it. I Those <laughs> turds over there run it, you I bastards. Huh? I want to play my song now. Oh. Kiss me, Mother. Get in oh. a seat. Get in yeah, a seat. I'm sure in a hurry to get into that, all right. Get in a seat, Senor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shut up now. we got to get our Kleenexes out because this is a very, very sad country song. Kiss me, mother, kiss your darling. Lay my head upon your breast. Throw Let me 
Trap actor right there, all right. I believe there is just too much information and disinformation being pumped into our brains by media and social media. So tonight's show will be devoted to sucking some of that information out of you, out of your brain. Yeah. How are you gonna do that? Well, I'll just go after the disinformation oh. by telling the truth. Huh? It'll suck it right out. Huh. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, here's a few more things from the book of Joe. Okay. Reading from the book of Joe. Forever and ever. How about the book of Billy Currington then? Yeah. Uh, that sure would be nice. It's usually in a B. Mm, that would be like down here. I want to do it down A sharp then, man. All right. Don't worry, baby, sometimes things change. Nothing we can do about it, I know way. Doesn't come easy, that you lie. Can't keep it in, everything is alright. Oh, so Fixing his teeth. Uh-huh. If nothing was going on and you uh, heard the tink, tink, tink of his spoon. Mm-hmm. After, you know, after he stirred it there uh-huh. in the hot tea. Uh-huh. If you were not on your toes, the very next thing that you would feel was the searing pain of the spoon burning your neck <laughs> or anywhere tender or sensitive. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, just a minute. It's not that bad. Don't do it to your children. (laughs) (laughs) 
That is how he groomed me to think on my feet mm -hmm. <laughs> and be prepared like a Boy Scout. Yeah. It's also how he trained me to never relax <laughs> <laughs> and always feel a sense of urgency. Yes. Organically. <laughs> Doesn't have to be put in. That's good. He always used to say what, uh, what God leaves out, or me, uh -huh. no man can put in. Yeah. So he was putting this in himself. <laughs> God was working through him. Right. <laughs> That's why the army wanted to make him a sergeant. Yeah. Even though he ran. Yeah. Uh, he got mad at them. He deserted. He and they threw him, in the, uh, threw him in the bad prison. He almost, they were quit commi committing suicide in there, right? Yeah. Blueberry Hill. Yeah. And they still wanted him because he had the sense of urgency. Yeah. And they knew if they could get him in there, yeah. give him some more money or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they wanted to make my dad a sergeant and me a field marshal. <laughs> they wanted to make you a field marshal? What is a field marshal? I don't know. It's big, right? Sure. Sounds like it. It's like a general. <laughs> I think it's a German general from the Second World War or something. Uh. No, it's a head of all generals, I think. Uh. Yeah. It's one below the Fuhrer. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be the Fuhrer. I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I've seen corporations requesting that angst yeah. when they're asking for people. Yeah. They want that organic sense of urgency. Yeah. And it's why I had no problem up in the big leagues. Yeah. You know? Because everybody else was passing out and freaking out. You know? The stress was too much for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I had the burning tea. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> burning right? See how that works? <laughs> See how the father handles that stuff down to his son? Yeah, that's good. Training. Oh no, Dad, stop touching stuff. Holy crap, Ola. What is that thing? It's like a monster. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but it went down too far. Oh. Just a minute, I got it. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys on the podcast. Hold it. Hold it right there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they're requesting the Yanks. Uh -huh. The urgency thing, yeah. when they're head hunting, yeah. you need to think Liam Neeson. Yeah. He's Irish too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's in a hurry. <laughs> He's got a special set of skills. I, I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a sense of urgency, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. And Tommy Cruise is pretty good too. Yeah. He can get her going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are all sons of putters. <laughs> <laughs> There's that <laughs> quote. And I know what it is. It's a type of, um, it's an anxiety disorder. Mm -hmm. It's called, I can never relax disorder. <laughs> 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 you know what that means, right? What? I need to take more relaxatives. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we are going into the natural medicines. Oh. So I can afford my relaxatives. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> good, Dad. It's <laughs> a good bit. <laughs> la, 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 la. Whoop, 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 Hey, Mo! The pig's laughing. <laughs> I love me some pigs, man. <laughs> I love me some pigs. Pigs. Back in the day. <laughs> Get out of here, Dad. But I didn't love them like that damn farmer. Well, we're not going to talk no, about no, that, no, are we? No, no, no. Let's not go there, Dad. <laughs> That's my filthy brain, Molly. Can't do you want to just say the second thing and then we'll go into Molly in the Mill? What second thing? The second part of the trifactor. <laughs> <laughs> you got something written out? <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, no, no, I think we should just go to Molly in the Middle and I might say something when I get back. Survival, procreation, evolution. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, because I'll go over and talk to Hank about what I was supposed to say. Okay, the second. No, I know it's procreation. The, the second thing will come after Molly in the Middle. I'll tell Hank just give me some dirty things to say. <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be hard to think of something dirty about procreation, wouldn't it? <laughs> I might tell you about the motorcycle jack. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you about the motorcycle jack. Yeah. What are you gonna? Uh, what do you sing? Uh, I'm gonna sing Gold Star. Ooh, I haven't go heard Gold Star for a long time. Uh, Gold Star. I was just thinking about what a Gold Star was when Harry Jerome asked me to train for the 50-yard dash. Oh, yeah. That's a big gold star, you know? Yeah. He's the fastest man in the world. I don't think he really understood, because I don't think I was any good. 
Was he actually the fastest man in the world? Because if there was nobody to like tackle or anything like that, yeah. I don't know if I could have got that excited. Yeah. But just running down a... Oh, so he just saw you running in football? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's not the same thing at all. That's not the same. No. no. You Short. should see me in the actual battle. Yeah. Oh, I can run like really good. <laughs> Sense of urgency. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's that burning spoon. No, first into battle, man. First into battle. With a burning spoon. That's why I have no relatives. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> Okay, this is the uh, original Molly Griffin song with a bullet. Very soon we'll have a bullet. It's called Gold Star. Well, you can be a saint with the click of a button. You don't have to lift a finger. Comes, ladies and gentlemen, is the Reverend Dr. Joey G. Hallelujah. Come on up for the ride. You got your thingy all screwed up. You got your strap. Hey, told me up. what to say. Here, Dad, you, you can talk and I'll fix that. You want me to fix that for you? But I can't remember now. <laughs> Here. Let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah, you fix that because I got to do this too. How many things do I have to do here? <laughs> That's too many for me. That's a trap actor of things. <laughs> too many. That's what I was going to say. Here's the heaviness of all heaviness is small. I don't think people really realize. Most people don't realize they're evolving. All right? That That's the end of the line. There's no end to it. Not, but I in terms of our purpose and meaning. Mm -hmm. And you can see how things go up. It starts with survival. Well, somebody might say, well, okay, well, I can survive with the eating and drinking and, mm -hmm. you know, the basics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one life. Yeah. One life long. Yeah. So as, as your consciousness starts expanding, the guy goes, well, first of all, he didn't have to because he had this urge to hump. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They were all, you know, if there's anything the whole world does, no matter how, but it seems the more poor they are, the more they do it. Yeah. 
because they feel hopeless. Yeah. And they want more pleasure. Yeah. Poverty breeds. They want to go far and get a gold star, mom. And they want they maybe like maybe this kid will do something. I didn't do anything. Well I didn't get it out of here. It's just an urge. It's just the urge. Actually, the urge of sex ends up to be evolution mm -hmm. at the other end, because you see, as it moves, survival. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you got to get to the point where you go, oh, I need to get the DNA going to the next line. Mm -hmm. Then we got a chance, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And then the next level is procreation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got it to the next level if you procreated, mm -hmm. right? And then the next level is what those are all about. Evolving. Yes, the DNA mixing up. And look at what do you think pushes all these people in science and in every way. Everybody mm -hmm. gets up in the morning and they're all pushing, pushing, mm -hmm. pushing. Uh, there's something pushing behind that. And, they, and they want things to be better for I their know, kids. and what, what tells you that it's true is it's not just them. Mm -hmm. It starts down at an amoeba mm -hmm. and works its way up. Mm -hmm. And it's evolution. It's go. Yeah. Quantum. Yeah. It's the quantum mall. <laughs> this is a podcast. <laughs> 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 Woo. Whether you believe us or not, it's a podcast. Do you want to sing a close your eyes, baby? It is Friday, yeah. <laughs> Here's the weekend. Here always oh, is it time for me to kick things off but with ice and cold beer. I've been drinking so damn hard. I forget. But I forget. I wasn't drinking. Is it Friday yet? Mom. I'm not. Ah, uh, it's great to be the king, Mom. Great to be the king. Is it? The king of Americana, internet, country, podcast, whatever. <laughs> it is. It's many things to yes. many people, Mom. Yes. Many things to many people. Many things. And it's great to be the king of all of this. Uh huh. And what I want to know is how do you enjoy being the queen of the vile? Of the vile? Yeah, the queen of the vile, Ma. I'm not the queen of the vile. <laughs> I'm a good person. <laughs> I don't, well, you know, queen of the now, queen yeah. of the vile. Come on, give me a, you know, try to stay with me. I get it. You got to make your connections go quicker, you know, because you don't have as many of them. I get it. Because you've only been alive for I got the half thing. the time. Okay. Vile. Yes, I yeah. got that. Vile. G 
Just in case you didn't know, it means extremely unpleasant. <laughs> I did know that. Not just that. <laughs> it means foul, mm -hmm. nasty, <laughs> unpleasant, bad, disagreeable. Hor What's that one? Horrid. Horrid. <laughs> My sister used to say that. Horrid. Horrid. Yeah. Horrible. Horrible, dreadful, abominable. Atrocious. Atrocious, offensive, obnoxious, odious. That's the one I odious. like. Odious. Odious. Could name your kid that. Odious. <laughs> uh, unsavory, repulsive, disgusting, distasteful, loathsome, hateful, nauseating, sickening, and more. Wow. I didn't know that more meant to. And you think I'm queen of this? <laughs> <laughs> I said so many things. I can't remember what the hell the word was. Vile. Oh, I didn't know more meant by. <laughs> <laughs> Shut Was this going anywhere? Sometimes <laughs> I go down these little avenues. <laughs> Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, it, maybe it is. Oh, no. Yes, it, it drops right nicely into this one, Mo. Oh. Very nicely. <laughs> yes. Spider eggs look like candy. Mm -hmm. So be careful when you're salvaging used candy. You wouldn't want to be bothering any spiders. <laughs> Grissom, mm -hmm. you know, from CSI. Yeah. He's a spider man. Yeah. And the insect activists will start biting and stinging you. <laughs> so <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> you just go off into the weirdest places. What an imagination. <laughs> Don't try to convince them. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what the hell's on the board now? It's more. lost in the 50s, Dad. It's slow again. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's good. Close your eyes, baby. Follow my heart. Call the memory here in the dark. Will it imagine? Take us away back to the feeling they had when they played in the steel of night. Oh, me die. Hold me tight. I'm singing. Country music for you there, Ronnie Millsap. Yes, sir, Barbarino coming to you from station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind. It's the Psychedelic Prairie Home Companion. It's the Grand Old Osprey. Osprey, Mo. <laughs> Funny. I get it. This is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you trying to convince, Dad? If you're in the traffic now, I'm looking at you. 
You're looking at me? Yes. <laughs> We're in the car. And <laughs> 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 hey, this is kind of funny. <laughs> Thinking about people listening to you on a podcast. Yeah, it is. This is a podcast. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop doing that. Oh, I got a new movement, Ma. Ooh, a it's new movement. It's nothing to do with the balls. <laughs> it is a new G Heart movement. You know, uh, we already got the Reach, Teach, and Preach. Uh-huh. We got Kim and Kanye. Yeah. You know, getting their crews together. Yeah. Kim's people teaching Kanye's people mm-hmm. about the jars mm-hmm. and how to get money. Mm-hmm. And then we got Downsized to Denver. Mm-hmm. That's really good, too. Mm-hmm. Change the world with that one, Ma. Yeah. Yes, sirree. Mm-hmm. Now, we got this new one. What is it? I'm going to try and tilt the whole paradigm of mankind, mm-hmm. and especially the more backward members of the uh, developed nations. Mm-hmm. That would be um, the UK mm-hmm. and her offspring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did I call them up here? The more backward members of the developed nations. Yes. Y- you got that, eh? Yeah. I okay, good. That would be the UK and her offspring. Yes. Uh, that includes... Um, the US of A. Yeah, the US of A and, uh, of course, uh, their master, Israel. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Israel's not, I, I don't think it's really a developed nation because the way they get their money is not right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it is. <laughs> well, they get a lot from the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it that way. Yeah. So maybe somebody would argue with me, but I, that's just what I heard. It's based on communications perceived as reality. <laughs> that's it is. Anyways. Um, You're going to try and tilt them toward? Toward humility. Uh-huh. In the face of our and their lack of heart and wisdom mm-hmm. at the present time. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of bad, you know, not wise. Yeah. A lot of not wise and not heartful mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. happening. Mm-hmm. It seems to me there was something else in there, but. No, that was it. Next thing's a different thing. Yeah, but my brain thought of something while I was saying that. Maybe <laughs> It sounded like it should have been in there. Mm. Well. Never mind. <laughs> we'll go on to something good in just a minute. Was it, uh, when the moon hits your 1957, Dean Martin. <laughs> Not up there. No, no that's G-shirt. too high. G shirt. G shirt? Yes. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, it's still high though, man. Okay. Whatever. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When you walk down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, no, you're not dreaming, see your way. Who's on me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's a mommy. Who's on me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's a mommy. When the stars seem to shine like you had too much wine, that's amore. Bells will ring, ting-a-ling-a-ling, ting-a-ling-a-ling, you're gonna know you're in love. You're gonna walk in a dream, no, you're not dreaming, see your on me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's a movie. School's on me, but you see, back in old Napoli, that's a movie. School's on me, but you see, back in old Napoli. That's a moe. That's a I should have done it like John Anderson. <laughs> okay, whatever. 
Have you got something good to say then, Mo? Um, we've got about nine minutes left. Welcome to the really big country western sex show. <laughs> people with the KP2 and our very sexy people, as it is, the number one sign of the evolutionary DNA. Hmm. You'd make it in there, Mo. That, like the KP2 people. People are good at singing. They got the bird song. Yeah, they can. Well, that's what the bird song is all about. They can imitate. It's, a ma- it's a mating cry. They can hear. Hey, we better watch out if we're getting to the end. Have I a good year. Did I say enough about evolution? You didn't say... Did you finish it? Yeah, you said evolution. Evolution. Can't I sort of put evolution. it all together, didn't I? Yeah, you I did. I sort of put it all together. The trifactor. Of se- the sexual trifactor. Yep. That's Derival right. progression and evolution. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if I feel like talking about this. No, well, we don't really have a Derival ton. Derival progression and evolution. That's all <sighs> you're doing. Yeah. Hey. 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 Sex is involved in all three parts. The purpose and meaning of life and existence as we know it. The trifactor. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. What? Uh, who wrote this? This real t- <laughs> 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 Survival, procreation, and evolution. Uh-huh. That's all you're doing. Yeah. That's the point. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. You might as well get humility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the evolution as far as you want, though. I can get really heavy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, that's all anybody is doing. Mm-hmm. They just don't know it. Yep. All the people on the podcast know it now, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. The only thing is, knowledge goes in different speeds. Yes. You know, That's for true. everybody. Yes. Look how long it took me to get into oysters. Mm-hmm. It took me quite a while, but I love me them oysters now. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the tartare, mm-hmm. sauce old tartare. Mm-hmm. I like some nice fries mm-hmm. on the side. Mm-hmm. And that... Um, more tartare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I lemon. just keep thinking about the sun. <laughs> yeah, lemon. Lemon. And a Coke. Mm. Uh, you know, it could be RC Cola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not Pepsi, though. I'm more of a root beer gal. Uh, no, 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 no. With the seafood? I Deep fried seafood? I just love you root gotta beer. You got to have the Coke to cut I it. I love root beer. You got to cut it with the Coke. I love There's root beer. There's a song in there. <laughs> cut it with the Coke. Cut it with the Coke. <laughs> Okay, Coca Cola. Hey, I'm gonna pone up Warren. Warren, I got a song for you. <laughs> Cut it with the Coke. Cut it with the Coke. Okay, we got time for one more hey. song, Ned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a podcast, <coughs> right? We can either do Sam Cook or this other guy. Walk through this world? Yeah. Well, didn't we just do that? I feel like we did. Let's do we Sam Cook. We did. Cook. Oh, you know what? We're gonna do that in a different key now. Oh. What are we gonna do it in, Ned? F. Okay, we're doing it in this. No. D. D. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Let, let's try it. Okay, this is something new. Squeeze the pig. Ah. Woo. Because we do it here. Use it. Walk through these walls with me. Yeah. You know, real high. Mm-hmm. Right? And then I said, no, you got to try it down here. The only trouble is it's not going to have no bass now. That's okay. So you better stay up on your bass strings, okay? Darling, you. No, we're doing walk through this world with me. Too bad. Me, I time. know you. Have time. Thrill me, darling, you. You send me honestly. Just one, one deal. At first, I thought it was infatuation. Is that your part? Now, now it's lasted Nothing. so long. That I find myself wanting to marry you and take you home. Oh, you thrill me and darling, you. You thrill me, I know you. You thrill me, honest you. Do. Walk through this world with me. Go where I go Share all my dreams with me I need you so You know that in life we search And some of us find I've looked for you Such a long, long time 
And now that I've found you, new horizons I see. Come take my hand, walk through this world with me. Should be in a G, in an F. <laughs> Listen to an F. Walk to this world with me. I think I decided on F. We're sort of in between there. That one might be too low. I decided on See what you Okay. I'm a tears that doggy in the wind. the one with the wagon. Wagon I said, I'm a is that doggy in the wind? Oh, oh, I do hope that doggy's the same. Oh, let's go walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song, Bobby. Oh, Bobby, oh, boy, you gotta push my phone. Is it nothing wrong, Bobby? Oh, Bobby, oh, boy, you gotta think about a good time. Had a long time ago. Think about the good and bad, your worries and your woes. Walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine. Oh, you all go walking in the sunshine, sing a little sunshine song. And we'll all go walking in the sunshine, we'll sing a little sunshine song. Okay, we had to rush the ending because we're running against the clock. But once again, you see the urgency in me? Yeah. Organic urgency. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Then let's keep all the cards and letters coming in because it's getting to be the biggest podcast that ever hit the damn airwaves. The silicone chips or whatever it is, Mom. So, uh, see you in the funny papers. Have a good one. And uh, you uh, have yourself a good old Dolce Vito. And the Espanola have a dose of Dolce Vito's. And the France, a bon tabatoisium, a dolce beetle, and a petit mot.